then I mentioned very briefly, um, I mentioned briefly at the beginning that we have these different phases in the collision. And one of them, I, I talked about chemical and thermal freeze out. So um, another way that you can be, well, another thing that you can do to get a handle on the temperature is to look at the chemistry, the hadronic chemistry, when the system um, freezes out, so a chemical freeze out, and you can compare those ratios of hadrons to a thermal model, and um, you fit, and the parameter, there, there's different models um, where they have the temperature as a parameter and where they have temperature and the degree to which strange quarks are in equilibrium. Lots of details, decades of fights between the two different camps. Um, they pretty much all work you can look at this and you can actually get a freeze out temperature. And um, what you see is that that freeze out temperature is above the temperatures we think that you, that you would need to have the quark gluon plasma. So if you go back to one of the plots that I started with, um, this plot was from the, um, relativistic heavy ion collider, and they've actually used those models to map out the point where you transition from the quark gluon plasma to the hadronic gas. And that gives you one handle, now that gives you one handle on the temperature. What that's really telling you is the low end of the temperature because that tell, that's where we think that this, um, this system freezes out and goes from a quark gluon plasma to the hadronic gas.